Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Derek again with Spinal Video. We are watching another ghost video from King Frostmare. This one's called The Scariest Videos You Cannot Unsee. Um, we make these videos every single night over on Twitch live. So if you'd like to be part of one of the videos, please stop by. Like I said, we do them every night besides Wednesday and Saturday. So uh, let's just get into it. You gotta be kidding me. Tim. <laughs> King Frostmare. Truck capture. This video comes from Reddit user Flickscreen. He caught this footage late one night with a security camera outside his house that monitors his vehicles. He claims that there have actually been strange occurrences regarding this truck before, including the tailgate opening on its own one day for really no reason at all. He also has a running joke that the truck is haunted or cursed, although he says he's not sure if these are just jokes anymore. Let's see what happened. What happened? That's a person! That's camera tricks. That was a person Footage standing there. Shows the driver's side door of Flick's truck opening on its own, which is creepy enough. However, viewers noticed that there appears to be some sort of apparition directly. Yeah, next they're to the wearing door. a hood. It's important to note that the uploader also specified that this never happened to this door before, and mechanically, there's really no reason for this to occur. A strange shadow can clearly be seen drifting towards the truck and evaporates only moments before the door opens. Is this a spirit caught on camera? Maybe the entity messing with the truck of his. It looks like a real drunk guy trying to like figure out his keys to get into the truck. Like, <laughs> and he was like, man, this is funny. Let me go ahead and just like edit this out. <laughs> Very interesting capture. <laughs> and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Big shout out to Kamikoro Knives for sponsoring today's video. If you what? are in the market for amazing steel kitchen knives, this one is for you. Uh, is get is it producing out. durable and razor sharp Japanese steel kitchen knives and tap into more than 800 years of traditional techniques from Japan. They only use steel that is directly sourced from Japanese mills. Each single bevel edge blade is carefully Unreal. crafted, perfected and inspected. And their techniques have been honed and perfected over many generations. The knives are safely stored in a beautiful heavy-duty ashwood box, which not only looks very high quality, but it also makes the knife set a wonderful gift. They have a vast array of Japanese steel knives, such as this three-piece Kenpeki knife set, which comes with an Akiri vegetable knife, the slicing Dude, knife, Jason, and this you're not very wrong. handy utility knife. <laughs> Make sure to give their website Carl. store a visit to find the best array of amazing Tim, knives. everyone's on the knives I still now. I remember opening the knife box for the first time and how impressed I was Come by the professional look and the perfect it's a nice and comfortable knife. weight sure. distribution in my hand. Their expert bladesmiths forge and shape the steel into hardy blades with an extremely sharp and fine edge. This to is maintain long. this sharp edge, you should also consider one of Kamikoto's sharpening whetstones. Great service is very important, which is why Kamikoto responds to every client's need as quick as possible. And they even offer you a lifetime Whoa. guarantee on each of their knives. They are currently what having a waste an extended of a good beer. new sale. And on top of that sale, you can get an additional $50 I'm not fast off it. any purchase I'm not going through all with that. discount code KINGFROSTMARE. Click the link below or go to kamikoto.com slash KINGFROSTMARE and use promo code KINGFROSTMARE to save an extra $50 today. Okay. Okay. So it looks like you guys already gave... The last video, uh, one, one glove. Um, eh, the same, same. <laughs> I think that he's a serial killer reviewing knives. You hear that Frostmare? Serial killer voice. <laughs> Yo, what's up Summer? All right, on to the next video. <laughs> Shadow. Entity. Let's now take a look at an investigation by Signs and Signals. In their previous visit to this abandoned home, the duo found a mysterious box there. Not knowing a what it was, box. they brought it home and opened it. Many Told viewers, however, box. warned the pair that the box appeared to resemble a Dibbuk box. An uh -huh. item that Told is haunted you. by the spirit of someone who has passed on. According to legend, the spirits that inhabit these items also have the ability to possess people as oh, well. Oh yeah, let's just, let's just wrap it up that the best course of action in uh, is to packing tape. <laughs> to exactly where they found it. 
let's see what happened. All right, so Dave is going to make the new seal. Just do what they had here. Put it back, they had it in the middle. Okay. Um, Unreal. They done messed up. We need you to get back in the box. Dude, you fart? No, I smell that too. <laughs> Dude, that smells so bad. I That's so farted. bad. That's what they say about like uh, uh, demonic possessions and stuff. Bad. Dead. It is often said that when a foul smell inexplicably appears in a haunted location, that a demon or other nefarious spirit is actually very close. And it is the smell of death itself you are smelling. These were not the only strange occurrences of the night, however. Dude, this shit's on the ground now. Get it's out of ground. here. <laughs> Bro. All right. All right. Listen, listen, listen. If, if this could be at all real, okay, at all real, that would scare the shit out of me. For real. Like, who, who would that not scare? That would be terrifying. If this was real, like, not staged, like, legit, real, that would scare the hell out of me. Near the end of the investigation, they unknowingly capture this chilling sight. Uh oh, unknowingly, I like these. Do some crazy shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, how is that that to <laughs> I didn't see it. I don't see it. Straight up, bro. No, 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 no. I that's got goosebumps for no reason. I didn't see it. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god! Look at that! You see his legs? Oh my goodness! It's so good! And I missed that! Oh, it's so good! Oh, I got goosebumps! Woo! Yeah! I love it! In the back corner of the room, a strange shadow can be seen. It seems the man didn't notice it while filming. However, when we look closer, it definitely appears to be in the shape of a person. Is it possible this shadow figure is related to the box that Excuse the me. team returned to the home? Luckily, it doesn't seem the spirit attached itself to either man, as is the risk with meddling with haunted objects. Make sure to give signs and signals a watch if you can. Uh, I like that one. That was pretty good. Um, I mean, I could easily put the, uh, the uh, little carousel horse thing down they could have easily done that but um dude farted out a whole dude <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right how many gloves are we giving a chat we got two from alicia okay two from carl as well uh fake only one from kevin um summer didn't even give any she just did a bunch of fakes okay Two from Allie. Uh, two from Jason. Uh, the 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 uh, the dark figure thing was cool. I thought that was actually really cool. So, all right, let's get on with it. Home alone. Oh no, Macaulay Culkin, what are you doing? This clip comes to us from... That looks more like Michael Jackson. Corner. Not much is known about the context surrounding the clip. All that is really known is that the girl featured in the video was practicing a dance for a TikTok Yo, channel. Yo, thanks for the 100 bitties. This strange sign. Tim. Let's take a look. Uh oh, here we go. Why is she being weird? Scared me! You spot it? <laughs> the girl is dancing. It is it's the jump scare. It was, the it was the noise. There's definitely no one behind her. It was the noise. For only a brief moment, however, a figure can be seen behind the woman's shoulder. No, oh, yeah, it did it again. Quickly after. Oh, it's creepy. It's probably like her sister. Oh no, I shouldn't have been on camera. Human. There's something truly haunting about the creature's gray appearance. Uh. 
Yeah, because he's in the shadows. Seems that spirits appearing behind people as they are filming harness clips is not quite so rare anymore. Is it possible, with the rising popularity of video making, uh. that we are simply catching spirits that have always been there? Let me know your theories. Do you think this is an actual spirit? Or was it just a family member in the background? Family member. Creepy. But family member. He's probably watching her dumbass sister like, yo, why are you dancing like that? <laughs> All right, chat. Uh, that scared me. But that's because of the jump scare sound effects. That, that actually scared me pretty good. Um, Tim's giving it one glove. What else is anyone giving or everyone giving it? Okay. Okay. One from Carl, three from Alicia. It's pretty good. Just a little sister. I agree. I think it's a little sister. F. Two from Allie. It made me jump, though. Damn. That, that actually made me jump pretty good. <laughs> <clears throat> Two from Cammy, one from Yetabi. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go and uh, let's continue. Nightly visits. Oh, this yeah. Clip comes to us from the channel Really Haunted. The owner, Lee, has been documenting got me good, Kevin. paranormal events <laughs> that have been occurring in his house for quite some time now. It is not unusual for Lee to experience poltergeist activity, such as objects moving on their own, orb captures, and unexplained sounds. This video is a bit different, since Lee uh -oh. seems to capture actual footage of the spirit that is wreaking havoc on his home. In the video, <laughs> we see Lee sleeping on the in his living room. According to him, this was just after he had read the prayers of St. Michael in an attempt to exercise the spirit. Oh, yeah, the spirits. really? However, he okay. believes this really had no effect other than angering it. Yeah, no shit. Let's take a look at the paranormal capture from this night. Doesn't work. Fake. That looks like an orb. They're all over. The orbs are all over the place. Did he just smack himself in the head. I don't see anything yet. A large oh, and there we go. Shadow materializes okay. in the center of the room and makes its way slowly towards the couch where Lee is sleeping. Mm. It's hard to say if this is related, but as the spirit is approaching the couch, a dark orb lands near Lee's face and actually seems to steer him from his sleep. This may <laughs> just be a coincidence, but I find it very interesting. A little bug. Oh wow, the shadow is right there in front of the couch now. Okay, the I see that. seems to lean over Lee before making its way back. Hmm. Oh no. And what in the glass poltergeist form, knocking some objects over before disappearing. It pushed it over, but picture? it pushed it over, but like there is a wall right there. Someone else could be in there. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's not hard. Like, sure, make it look realistic. So let's do it while you're dead asleep and I'm knocked us over. But I don't know, man. Are we witnessing a legit haunting here? I want to believe. I want to believe. We're getting three from Allie. What else is everybody giving it? Okay, one from Jason, one from Kevin, two uh, from Alicia and Carl, two from uh, Tim. It was, I mean, A for effort, right? Uh, wasn't ready for them to knock over the thing, but that could have easily been done off camera, right? Oh, shit. Excuse me. All right, let's get on to the next one. The following video was uploaded by user Google Me Bee. 
He pulled his footage from the security Ooh, camera maybe. in his backyard while he was just scrolling through the video feed. Too easy, he I agree. noticed this strange motion event that caught his attention and he's never seen anything like it before. On any of his security cameras, he has no oh, well, look at that. explanation for what he's captured here. Pretty cool. Huh. On the huh. right side of the screen, in the backyard, a strange orb-like shape is seen, floating towards the dark corner of the yard. The white orb seems to change shapes, shifting into what almost looks like a person walking, and then suddenly disappears. Even more interesting, it seems that somehow, the spirit actually activates the motion lights in the user's backyard before disappearing. There's definitely something new about this footage. What could this possibly be? Excuse me, I'm so sorry. All this is probably gonna get edited out. <laughs> All right, Chad, do you guys think that's real or fake? Or do you think it's just like a, uh, uh, like a, a shadow or something from the car going by? Uh, Ali gives it three. Jason's giving it two. Beck is giving it two. It's pretty, it's, it's, it's interesting, huh? I agree, Alicia. I, I really agree. It could, a reflection, that's actually the word I was looking for. Thank you, uh, Becca. Um, damn, Alicia gives it a three. Damn, Kevin just fake. Boom. <clears throat> um, Tim with three. Okay. Um, that one's good. Carl with three. I, I think it was good. Um, easily fakeable and easily, uh, just like, like debunk debunkable. You know what I mean? Like it could have just been a reflection of the light driving by cause it was like, at the same time. Right. Hmm. Hmm. On to the next one. Shadow time. Now let's take a look at a clip from Dark Bridget Ghost gets a three. Okay, okay, okay. In this video, Dennis is once again exploring a very old abandoned home. This is the second time Dennis visits this particular location. Apparently, there had been reports of haunted activity surrounding the house, including strange sounds coming from the inside, as well as reports of people being seen inside the house, although there should not have been anyone there. This now, house has also old. been afflicted <laughs> with a terrible fire many years uh. ago. Strangely enough, it is said that the fires were self-ignited, with absolutely no signs of arson. For this investigation, Dennis focuses mainly on the first floor, where the fire broke out. He leaves camera one in a stationary location, a hallway, said to contain a lot of negative energy, and uses camera two to investigate around the house. Let's see what he manages to capture. I hope it's a good one. <clears throat> Whoa, come on, bro. Come on, dude. Not even happen. I'm getting scared. Oh, that's definitely footsteps. Not like they were running. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh, it wasn't Freddy! Oh god, that was good. Dennis captures something really intriguing from camera one. As oh he's my walking god! The hallway. <laughs> that he's was walking awesome. Away from the camera filming as an incredibly dark shadow is seen flying past him down the oh, hallway. Oh, you could definitely hear it. What was that? Really I don't know. Look at it. Dennis or any of the objects in the room. And you can even see the way the shadow seems to go right through him. Could this be the same shadow creature that Dennis caught last time he visited the home? That's good. Made me shout. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who can say for sure? That was oh my god! A really creepy visit. You think that's fake, huh? That's pretty good. That was pretty good. Even with the footsteps, fake or not, it's pretty pretty scary. I like it. That did its job. I wasn't ready for it to see the little shadow guy running after me. Allie gives it four. 
I know that noise, a raccoon in a furnace. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Carl's giving it four, Kevin with three, Alicia four, Tim four, Jason four. That's the best one so far, right? I agree. I agree. There's multiple cameras though, Becca, I think. Yeah, ballsy with a full body. <laughs> I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Three gloves, no more, no less. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. That's, that's, that's better than uh, most, uh, you know. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's keep it moving. The classic. The following Four gloves from Cammy. okay. Doku Mystery. It was actually from the show Most Haunted, which is a ghost hunting TV series from England. This clip was taken from an episode where the team was investigating a haunted house. Ironically, the camera had actually been placed on a table and they weren't meant to capture anything at all at the time. Hey, what's that? Oh, I definitely see it slowly going. Cameraman places the camera on the side of the counter and quickly we notice movement coming from a small doorway at the end of the hallway. A figure in the shape of a man can be seen walking away from the camera and as he walks up the stairs we notice he appears to be somewhat transparent. The crew notices as well and of course go running after the spirit. And of course, they go running after the spirit to get a better look. But unfortunately, <laughs> the entity has disappeared by the time they make their way to the stairs. Most Haunted claims this is the most concrete evidence of paranormal Jason. life that they've captured. But what it's really interesting. I, I Some agree. Some people say this is just a poor fake. But it has never fully been disproven that this was in fact not a real ghost capture. What do you believe though? True ghost sighting or just another hoax? You decide. How many gloves? This is like a two or three or for me. I, that, 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 looks, that just looks too much like a person to me. Just saying. Unexpected Python. <laughs> three from Allie, two from Becca. Okay, okay, okay. One. One from Kevin and Alicia. Three from Carl. Two from Jason. Three from Tim. Okay. We're all over the place with this one. Definitely not more than three, though, I'm seeing. Two from Cammy, one from Bridget. Okay. I, I I give it like a two, two or three, because it's fun. But I just, this is way too, way, it looks too fake. Like, it's easily fakeable, too. Uh, never been fully disproven. <laughs> What's up, show? He gives one. How you doing, brother? Uh, could have been another crew member. My first thought, by the way. Uh, Kevin, first thought. Uh, all right, let's keep it moving. Let's take another look at Dino Nugget 741. Dino has been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in his home. Dino for Nuggets, months that's now. so been good. documenting it for all of us on his channel. Recently, he had a few more strange events occur that he's caught on camera. Four gloves for the you decide. You like that, huh? First good. happened in December. Dino filmed his home after leaving as an experiment to see if paranormal events would occur, even if no one was home. I don't know what the point of this is, man. If I'm not here, shit don't happen. Oh, the door and the dog's barking. It seems clear that whatever spirit is haunting this home seems to be active, even if the residents aren't home. The strange oh, shadow shit. I see the shadow now. Peeking from the side of the wall before quickly disappearing. Then we see this sink mysteriously turn on on its own. And Seriously, finally, the turn on on its own. Knocked is it? down by some unseen force. <laughs> Do you think the shadow figure seen in this clip is responsible for turning on the faucet and knocking over the camera? The next clip Dino posted occurred a few weeks later in January of this year. He was relaxing one evening in his living room when he thought he noticed movement coming from near the front door. Dino Ooh. pulled out his phone. Here we go. Here we go. Quickly. We're gonna get a nice shadow. Is that it to the- Oh shit! 
Oh, I got goosebumps. Oh, yeah, I got goosebumps. All right. Uh, oh, that was good. I like that one. Come on, come with me, come with me. Real Earth Fang. He's like, come with me, come with me. <laughs> He's scared. I love it. <laughs> He's scared. Your shorts smell like asshole. <laughs> I see rods. Oh, you with these rods again, Jill. Oh, you smell that. Rotten eggs and dog farts. <laughs> <laughs> in the darkness, a strange shadow That's spoopy. moving around near the door. Dino, of course, gets up to investigate and turns on the light as well. That's spoopy. In classic fashion, the spirit is gone before Dino can manage to get a clear shot. Some Dino. viewers wonder why Dino Call him Mr. Seems Nuggies. to run towards the entities, <laughs> to which he responds, <laughs> We go because we have to make sure there isn't an intruder in the house. Family safety is most important. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. What a creepy situation Dino finds himself in. Let's see what will unfold in the future. You decide. <laughs> All right. Tom gives it a lot. Holy smokes. Uh, four from Jason for the rotten eggs and dog fire. That's pretty funny. Uh, we get four from Ali as well. Three from Alicia. Tom gave it three Ryus. Um, okay. Uh, four, four from Carl. Three from uh, Kevin. And that's a pretty good one. I, I, I actually enjoyed that one. Um, I, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. He actually seems scared to the point where he wanted his son to stay with him. It's kind of it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get to the uh, next one. Next one's probably the last one. <clears throat> Birthday boy! Yeah, 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 yeah. The picture was sent by Joseph M., and it unfortunately is not further known from where it stems originally. It is said that the picture was taken by a family member. The mother in the picture was just about to serve the birthday cake to her little boy when something rather creepy appeared in the mirror. Uh-oh. Oh, whoa! Look at it. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, like goosebumps everywhere. Right next to the child's mother. Nobody knew this child, however, and the family speculates that this could have been a ghost child. Mm. Could this be so? If it wasn't this just made a me weird sad reflection from the scene, I don't know why. What else could have been the cause in your it's, it's a creepy looking little kid, man. Scary to say the least. Oh, no. All right. Real, fake. Real or fake? No, 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 no. Damn, Becky gave her three, actually. Allie gave her three. It's his birthday, too, right? You don't celebrate the birthdays without me. Fake. Three from Jason. Um, That's a very, very, very clear picture. It's creepy. It gave me goosebumps, real or fake. He had that grayish blue green tone to him too. Real dead, like real dead. The, the ghost boy of the mom, I like it. Damn, Shell gave it four, okay. And uh, shit, Alicia even gave it three. Of course, if I turn into a ghost, I will most likely still show up for cake. <laughs> I was told there'll be cake. <laughs> This next clip comes to us from the Dark Dimension. Two from Carl, okay. Goes that a man was walking home around 2 a.m. when he noticed something strange in the distance. Is that a guy on a horse? Woman. However, according to the man, she was inexplicably tall, and there was something odd about the way she was walking. The man stated that the woman froze him in fear, and he felt completely unable to move for a few minutes until she had passed. That's a... A woman walking a little kid? I th at first I thought it was somebody sitting on a horse. Best. The 
Batman also knows. But there's something in front of it. Like oh, walking a dog as well? There were three children with the woman. Oh, One three children. And two walking. Okay. Yo, look at that. Uh, it's creepy, but it could just what literally be a woman, woman and three kids. To be in grayscale, while the rest of the film is colored so regularly. Is it possible this is simply a very mm. tall woman walking with her children, or something paranormal? Commenters seem torn on this one. I'm what torn. You believe you read my mind. I'm torn. Also. Again, with the old dookie phone. The old dookie phone. Uh, all right, chat. What are we giving that one? What are we giving that one? Uh, a one from Becca, a one from Kevin and Carl. Um, uh, like he said, I'm kind of torn too, because it could literally just be a woman and her three children. Right? Uh, or it could be ghost people. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the footage that most people believe that's real uh, is th there's Gettysburg footage where it looks very similar to this of the soldiers and stuff. Um, potato phone. Two from Tim. The old tater phone. We got one from Shell. Yep, yep, yep. Tom gave it a lot and a Dorito chip. I see what's going on. Jason will one too. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, but, uh, yep. That is going to do it for this video, YouTube. Uh, thank you for watching. If you, uh, enjoyed the video, please make sure to like this, uh, like the uh, video and also please make sure to, uh, hit the subscribe button as well. And if you'd like to be part of a video, we stream every night over on Twitch besides Wednesday and Saturday at 8 PM Eastern standard time. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night.